hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today today's tutorial is about how creating a staircase with winders and also it has these wooden treads uh, on the concrete staircase but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime and now let's start the tutorial open the new architectural template file click on this stair command uh, and from here select this monolithic stair and as you can see from in this dialog box that the, the, the staircase is connected to level 2 and from here you can change the number of risers let's set it to 20 and the riser height is now 6 inches and you can also adjust the depth of the treads and now to create the winders i have to use the create sketch command select it it has these three options boundary riser and the stair path now first of all let's create the boundary as you can see in the video After creating the boundary like this, now select the riser command and start placing the risers as shown. And with the help of this riser command, you can create the winders just by simply drawing them in the floor plan as you can see in the video. After placing all the risers, set uh, the boundary line towards the edges and now place the stair path like this and now click OK. So our staircase is has been created and it looks like this and you can see it in the 3D and you can see that the winder is placed at its position and it looks like this. If you want to edit the staircase, double click on it. Again, double click here, and you can edit the plan whenever you want. Now you can see that it is saying 19 rises, 19 has rises have been created and one is remaining. But if you count it, they are actually 20 rises, which is absolutely correct. This error occurs because we have created winders and whenever the winders are created, this calculation is kind of wrong. So instead of depending on these you uh, you try to count on your own that you have to create 20 risers or 22 or whatever so now i am 
going to place two more uh, risers uh, kind of winders and let's place it like this and now as I have placed two more risers I am going to delete these two so that the actual number remains 20 but if you have 22 or 25 or 26 risers then you have to place these riser lines that many I have shared the links to the railing design and its editing in the description box but for now I am going to use the built in railing designs for this tutorial. Now select this staircase, click on edit type to open this dialog box. Now click here and now let's check the threads because I want to place threads on this concrete staircase and assign the material of wood to the thread. From here you can change the thickness of thread. Let's keep it to 2 inches and you can also change the thread profile and let's say let's keep the nosing length at 1 inches. I want it to be 1 inches uh, outside the riser and you have to apply the nosing profile from here and the thread profile set it to default and yes and if you zoom in you can see that the our uh, thread has this profile but if you want to create a profile of your own open a new family template file of profile nosing um, go below profile stair nosing and open this file Now let's create the profile for the nosing. I want to keep it a simple rectangle. So you can see that it has a thread surface on the top and the riser surface of like this. But let's say I'm going to draw a half inches in width and two inches in height the profile. Now save this file and load it into the project but you can see that open it click on edit type and from here select this nosing profile because that's the name of the file and you can see that it is placed at a wrong position so to make it correct again go back to the family file and you can see that it has a thread surface on the top and our profile is going above it so it should be below and the riser surface the riser is towards right and this reference this vertical reference uh, plane is the riser surface so we have to keep it so we have to keep the profile towards left like this and now let's save it and load it into the project to see how it looks like there and now you can see that it is absolutely correct so that's all for today I hope you like this tutorial and if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime can see that how easy it is to create a winder staircase and how easy it is to create to change the uh, profile of the nosing for the threads 
and i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe